In this video, we're going to look at a different kind of sequence called a geometric sequence. We're going to find the nth term, and we're also going to find the sum of a number of terms. So like an arithmetic sequence, this one has a number of terms, a sub n, and instead of a common difference, it has a common ratio. What would you multiply? 3 by to get 6? 2. 6 by to get 12? 2. 2, and so forth. So that R, common ratio, in this case is 2. And here's our formula for a particular term. So let's find, let's say, the, the seventh term of this sequence. So A sub 7 would equal to A sub 1, which is my 3, times R, that's 2, the ratio in this case, to the N minus 1. That would be the 8 minus 1. So, oh, we said the seventh term, didn't we? So it would be 7 minus 1, wouldn't it? 7 minus 1. So a to the seventh would be equal to 3 times 2 to the six. 2 to the six is equal to 64. So 3 times 6 would be equal to 192. And that would be what the seventh term was in our sequence. Now suppose we want to find the sum of those first seven terms, the sum of them. Now the formula, S sub 7, would be equal to the first term, which would be 3, times 1 minus R, in this case is 2, to the 8th, the 7th power, sorry, I keep doing it, don't I? 7th power, all that over 1 minus, in this case, 2. So 3 times 1 minus 2 to the 7th power is equal to 128. So 3 times, this is minus 127, all over minus 1. And this would be equal to 3 times 127 is 300. 81. And a minus times a minus a plus. So there is the sum of the first seven terms. Hope it helps you in finding a particular term and the sum of terms in a geometric sequence. As always, have a very happy day.